Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are a little easier to do. We have a guest today, and her name is Amy. Hi. Hi, Amy. How you doing, Mary? Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, I'm a fitness instructor that teaches waterline classes and also Zumba Gold at mostly uh, senior centers. I've been doing it for about 10 years now. Fabulous. I love it. Yay. Love it. And she also does hiking and... And bicycle riding. And skiing in the winter. Cross country. Whoa, nice. Yes. Okay, so she's a good example of staying fit and all the fun things you can do. Now, today we're going to work with something that's going to make you stronger. So while I'm talking, you're going to think about what do you have around that's a little heavy. So before we begin this or any other exercise program, make sure you have loose, comfortable clothes. Make sure you have water that you can drink before, during, and after our time together. Also, you'll work at your own pace. If we're going too fast and you want to slow it down, go right ahead. If you want to go faster and you can do it safely, you can do that too. But listen to your body. If you're feeling dizzy or lightheaded, that's your body's way of telling you to back off. Also get your doctor's okay. He'll tell you exercises that you should or shouldn't do. Always remember to do your best. Do a little today and a little tomorrow and you'll be getting stronger and more flexible and feeling terrific. You want to make sure you don't push through any of these exercises. You would want to do smooth, gentle moves and you don't want to bounce or force anything. And of course, if you eat well, that's your fuel for your body, kind of like putting good gas in your car. Also, of course, if you smile, that helps a lot. Okay, you've been thinking about what you have that's a little heavy. Let me give you some ideas. If you don't like to grab something big, and you'll notice that Amy has something that's a can that her can hand can fit comfortably around. Your hand might be smaller, or you might want to start with something lighter, so a tuna fish can would work. Or if you drink Boost or water or Insure, you can have that, and that's heavy, and that's easy to grip. If you're saying to yourself, but it's just so hard for me to grip anything, then if you have brown sugar or powdered sugar or anything that's malleable in a bag, then you can use that, and your hand will form right to it. Now, if you say to yourself, well, I not only need a lightweight, but still my hands, it hurts to hold on. Well, then grab a pair of gloves. It helps if they're thick and padded, and that will help a lot. If you say to yourself, I gave my gloves away, but you have a face cloth, sometimes people like to dampen the face, face cloth because it gives it a better grip, but you can hold on like this. If you need more padding, you can take um, a pillowcase or a dish cloth and you can hold like this. So there's lots of ways you can do it. Run around the house and find something that has a little weight to it. Okay, now that you have it, we're going to begin to warm up. If you're ready, let's begin just by marching. Nice, easy marching. We're sitting at the edge of our very sturdy chair. We're not in a rocker or a recliner. We're in a sturdy chair that doesn't roll. And if you do have rollers on your chair, put your brakes on. We're nice and easy marching. We're going to get those arms going. We're feeling pretty terrific because we're going to work on strengthening. Yay! There you go. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake your hands out and tap your toes. Good. Now the toes and fingers are going out and in after four and three and two. Here we go. They go out and in. Now you'll notice as your toes go out, your knees go out too. So everything's working here. Four and three and two. Let's go back to marching. Yes. And we're using our arms and we're feeling terrific. We're feeling strong. Our breathing is nice and deep and full. Four, three, two. Let's tap out and in slowly at first. Here we go. 
out and in and out and in and out and in now let's stretch the arm out and in push out and in there you go now you'll notice i'm stepping small but amy's stepping big so if you want to work a little harder or stretch a little more follow amy here we go four three two get ready to push the heel forward forward and back we get our hands ready and we push and pull there you go. So you'll notice we're not snapping our knee down. We're not snapping our elbow straight, but we're pushing almost to the point of being very straight. And Mary, I noticed that our elbows are only slightly bent. They're not hyperextended, right? You're absolutely right, Amy. Absolutely. See why I love Amy? We go out and in, two and in, three and in four and done okay you feeling warmed up yes me too let's think about stretching over the head our hands are facing our ears our thumbs are facing our shoulders our elbows are down we're going to breathe in and it's almost like we have a box we're going to put it on the top shelf up and down i like this exercise because whenever there's a holiday and there's holiday candy I put it in the coffee <laughs> jar that's empty. Or oh, sometimes, now I know where you keep your candy. That's where uh -oh. I keep my candy. I put it on the top <laughs> shelf. So I really need this exercise. Put your candy right on the top shelf. And then, of course, you want to have the flexibility and range of motion to get it. There you go. Good job. Two more. Last one. Now let's put it way back in the shelf. There you go. Reach out, pull in. That's just perfect. Now, guess what? I have my candy, or actually it would be fruit or vegetables because that's what Amy likes. So we're gonna bring our box and bring it to the side. Here we go. Side, center, side, center, side, center. Now this is a really good exercise because we turn all the time. Say we're sitting watching TV or reading a book or playing the piano and someone calls us, we turn our bodies, there you go. That's excellent, good. Or someone knocks on the door or the phone rings. We need this ability to rotate from one side to the other. Four, three, two, and done. Ha! Ah, Could you feel good. that? Yes. Yes. Now, let's just go right ahead and grab what we think is going to be good and strong for us to use. What you may want to do is have two different sizes right beside you. If you have something lighter and something heavier, then you could have those. And if you're working and it's pretty light and you want to work harder, you could grab the object that was a little heavier. Okay? But right now, let's just stick to what we think is going to be good for us. Okay. I am going to grab my tuna. Well, actually, you know what I'm thinking? I am pretty thirsty. How about you? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get a little drink of water before we start. Ah. I love water. Mmm, so what I do. And some people have a hard time drinking water. And if that happens to you, you could get one of your favorite juices and then start to dilute it a little and a little more until all of a sudden you develop a big fondness for water. Okay, so we're going to grab our heavy objects. This is going to help us get strong. Our hands are right down by our sides and our thumbs are up. We bring our thumbs to our shoulders and then right back down. Our elbows are directly under our shoulders. Our chests are high, our shoulders are back and down, and we feel terrific because we know we're getting stronger and stronger. And this helps us pick up things like bags of groceries, or grandchildren, or even great-grandchildren, or heck, even children. Or pets. Or pets, that's you're a right. cat, dog. A cat, you're right, the picking up the cat, that's so true. There you go. Good job. Last two. 
And last one. Let's hold them right by the shoulders. Let's turn our hands so our palms are facing our ears. And single hands stretch up and down. Here we go. It's up and down. Good. Now pay attention to how this feels on your shoulder. For some people, they can only get up this high and that's okay. You're going to go as high as you can. And sometimes you're more flexible on one shoulder rather than the other. Stretch up to the top shelf. Reach. There you go. Four. Also, Mary, sometimes if you have a bad shoulder, you might want to just do it without the can also. That is a great idea. That if it's is really hurting you. You want to maybe take that weight off. That's right. So you can take the weight completely off, but you want the range of motion. So that's a good idea, Amy. Thank you. That's a great idea. There you go. Good. Perfect. I'm glad you mentioned that because right. that's so true. Sometimes you just take the weight right away on one side, but keep that range stretching up. Last one here and last one here. Good job. So we got the muscles, our biceps. We got our shoulders going up. So now we have to get the muscles behind us. So there are a couple of ways you can do it, but you know me, I'm doing the easy way. Okay, the easy way is to lean forward just a little bit. Place one hand on your thigh, the other hand comes down, and we pull the elbow up. We're gonna push the arm back and in, and back and in. We try to relax the shoulder, and we try to keep parallel to the floor the upper arm from the shoulder to the elbow. That's just what we're trying to do. But if you're just moving, that's great. You'll want to make sure you don't whack anything behind you. Last four. And three. And two. And one. Let it hang down. Ah. Let's roll the thumb out. Ah. Sitting nice and tall. Then we place the working hand that we just worked on the thigh. Our flat back leans forward and we let the other hand hang down. Then we pull the elbow up and we look behind us to make sure we're not going to whack anything. And we go out and in. So we're stretching our arm out as far as we can go behind us and up as high as we can go. And we feel the muscle on the back of the upper arm. Tighten up as we extend and then stretch out as we bring the weight closer to our shoulder. Great, excellent. And remember what Amy said, if you have a tender shoulder or even now a tender elbow, you don't have to use the weight at all. Good job, last two, one, and two. Ah, boy, I felt that. How yeah, about you? Yeah, right in that upper arm. Right in that upper arm. That's perfect. Now, we're going to want to bring our hands wide. And the reason we need to do that, I don't know about you, but when the towels come out of the washer or the dryer, I have to give them a shake. So I need to be able to do this. So our arms are down. We're going to bring our arms forward first. Up and down. We're nice and tall. Our bellies are in. And you know what I'm thinking, Amy? What? I'm thinking this is great for your shoulders, but let's add the stomach. Let's lean back oh, and yes. sit tall. So now we're not only working the front of our shoulders, but now we're working our stomach. As we lean back, the chin stays parallel to the floor. We don't arch back. We tighten that stomach and come up. Good. So now we've got the stomach and the front of the shoulders. Woohoo! There you go. That's great. I love Hang this. There. Front of the shoulders and the stomach. And you'll notice we're going slow. If we were going quickly, we could use our momentum and our stomach would be going na na ni na na. <laughs> but no, we're going slowly. No. Slower is better. Slow is better because we reuse more muscle fibers. Good job. Let's do one more. Now let's lean back and hold it. One arm up and one arm down. Not very high, but guess what's happening? We're working the front of our shoulders, but by golly, that stomach is going, wait a minute. Oh, help me. Four, <laughs> three, two, 
And one, you're done. Let's release that stomach. Ah. Whew. Ugh. While we're down here, let's work the upper back. So we work the stomach. And now we're going in the upper back. So we have one hand on the thigh. Our spine is straight, ear, shoulder, hip. We lean forward and we let the weight come down to the calf. Then we bring our elbow along our rib, bringing the weight to the hip. Now we go down to the calf. Let's go quickly. Up and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four. So the more you lean forward, the more you're going to work that upper back. And as you pull the elbow back, it rubs right, that shoulder blade right into the spine. There you go. The elbow comes up and roll the elbow back. So you'll notice I'm up a little higher, but Amy's getting more work. She's really leaning forward. Thank heavens we only have two more. Ah. One and two. And sit tall and roll your thumb back. Ah, ah. Feels good. That is a wonderful treat. Good news. You're done with that arm. Mm, bad one, news. You got the other yeah, arm. Yeah, one down, one to go. One down and one to go. I like that attitude. <laughs> Place the arm you just worked on your thigh. Breathe in and lengthen the spine. Exhale, flat back folds forward. We have the weight by the calf. We're going to bring it up to the hip and then back down again. Let's bring it up to tempo. Up and down. Pull the elbow back and up. Let it scoot along the ribs. And you can really feel that shoulder blades roll right into that spine. And that's the muscle group you need to pull those shoulders back so your posture's nice and tall. That's it. Oh, Amy's really leaning forward. She's really working hard. Plus, I forgot, Amy's got the weight that's probably three times heavier than I do. Sorry, Are Amy. Yes. Are we there yet? <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. You're done. Yeah. Sit tall and let it roll back. Yeah. Ah. Now you're saying to yourself, I'm wondering about ankle weights. Can I use weights to make my legs feel stronger? Sure. Put your weights right on your thighs, close to your knees. That's going to be harder. So if your legs start to feel a little tender, you can bring the weight back or bring the weight back. Or like Amy's good idea, you can just take the weight right off. So we're going to start with the weights towards our knees, sitting nice and tall, shoulders back and down, single legs touch out and in. We go out and in. Now we're not stretching too far out because basically we're really adding weight to that leg as we lift it up a little bit and step out. Lifting the leg up a little bit, that's important to practice stepping over stuff so we don't trip over stuff. Also, it helps you get in and out of the car, too. Whoa, that's <laughs> right. If we bring the leg up a little bit, you step outside. That's right. Ah, you're a genius. <laughs> up and out of the car. Or you can sit in the car and pull that foot in. There you go. Great. Now you'll notice she is really picking her leg up. So she's getting a lot of work done. Last two. There you go. Last one. Bingo. You've got it. Let's stretch one leg out and just give it a nice stretch. Sit nice and tall and look over the shoulder to the side and center and side. Come back to center and switch feet. Ah. Okay. The other leg goes out. Sit nice and tall. Get that nice stretch. Look over the shoulder. Look over the shoulder. And center. Look over the shoulder. And back to center. So we did. We worked our legs, and that was great. Now we're going to go marching with our legs. We're really going to work. Wow. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. We're going to march. So you pick your foot up every single time, and you can say to yourself, and I can really mean it. I'm feeling it in my legs. How oh, about I'm feeling you? it too. Good, good, good. So we won't stay here very long. Only for five, 
four, three, two, and one. Let's go get those stomachs. We're going to take our weights and bring them on our shoulders and chest, kind of right around here where they're comfortable. Now, we're going to lean back a little bit, feel the stomach tighten up, and then come all the way up. So we don't want to feel this in our back. We lean back a little bit. There you go. And use those stomach muscles to pull you up. That's it. There you go. Good, good. Perfect. Nice. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. We feel terrific. Are you feeling pretty yeah. terrific? Yes, I good. am. How about your stomach? Is your stomach feeling terrific? <laughs> <laughs> That look, I am telling you, that was a perfect look. Your stomach is saying, what? Now, you're going to come right back to center. Let's see if you can hold your weights together. Okay? Okay, before we do this, can we do another water break, Mary? Another water break. Great idea. Okay. Let's have a water break. I love that idea. Mm. Oh, I love these water uh, breaks. Yes. Okay, now I'm saying to myself, you know, I'll bet I could work a little heavier. So I'm going to put my light weights down and grab something heavier. So I'm thinking I can. I'll probably not be able to do this, but I'm going to try. Okay, so our weights are right here. We're going to lean back a little and bring the weights over to one side just a little bit back to center. Now you want to really be careful of your back. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. We're bringing the weights over to one side. Good. So you can feel this in your stomach. Good. The sides of your stomach because we need this. Sometimes we're sitting up and all of a sudden we have to lean back and maybe we want to grab a magazine or you want to grab a book. You want to have those muscles so you're able to do that. Now we're going to hold it center and release. Ah. So you say to yourself, how about let's doing something more exciting? Well, Amy, we can do that, right? Sure we can. So we lean back. Here are our weights. Our elbows are slightly bent. We only bring one out and in. The other out and in. Now you'll notice that we're keeping our elbows bent and we're leaning back just a little bit. So our stomachs are working. And then if we close our eyes, we can feel how our stomachs are reacting to the weight being on one side of our body than the other. So we open our eyes. Now you'll notice that my arms are bent. I'm making it easier. But Amy has longer arms and heavier weights. She is so brave. Ah. Out <laughs> and in. Last one. Out and in. Ah. Wow. I really felt that. How yeah, about you? I sure did. Okay. <laughs> Let's put our weights down. You did a great job. I sure did. Okay. Now, because our hands have been wrapped around the weights, we're going to stretch our hands out, but a little differently this time. We're going to bring our hand palm down. We bring the other hand and we grab just the pinky and pull it back. There you go. Come back to center. Grab just the middle, th the ring finger and pull it back. Feel that nice stretch? Yeah, I do. Really. Good. And then the middle finger, we pull it down because our hands have been wrapped around our strength training items. We release and we pull the pointer back. Now, this is the hard one. Go under your hand and see if you can grab your thumb and see if you can pull it towards your wrist. Yipes, Rooney. Can you feel that? Oh, yeah. So if you say to yourself, I can't feel it, try to straighten both arms out. Oh, now I'm feeling it. <laughs> and then come back to center, please. Flip the other hand over. The hand comes from underneath and just pulls the pinky back a bit. Good. And then you go to the ring finger. Our shoulders are back and down. We feel great. And now we go to the middle finger, pull it back. And each finger, you can feel it. And now the pointer, you kind of pull that back. Now, we go under and grab the thumb. 
See if we can pull it down a little bit and then to the wrist, oh boy. And if you can't feel it, see if you can straighten your arms out. Great job. And slowly come back to center. We've worked the shoulders. Let's pull the shoulders up and back and down. Good work. Pull the shoulders up and draw them back and slide them down your back. One more time, please. Pull up and back and down. Good work. Then we're gonna bring one hand across the body to the shoulder. The other hand comes from underneath, pushes it up a little bit, and then draws that elbow over. Feel that stretch? There you go. Now you're gonna come back to center, flip the arm over, and try to just pull that arm, release that arm, and bring it back, 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 and turn and look back behind you. Good work, good work, good work and slowly come back to center. Very nice. Now the other hand comes across the body. We come from underneath and push the elbow up. Pay attention to how comfortable or not this is. You're gonna push the elbow across the body, feel a nice stretch in the shoulder, pressing the shoulder down because our shoulders did a lot of work for us. And then we're gonna stretch that arm out. We release it and we draw the arm back there you go, and pull the arm back. Feel the whole chest and shoulder stretch out. Good work, and then slowly come back to center. We're gonna let our legs come a little wider than hip width apart. Roll the fingers in, breathe in sitting tall, and as we breathe out, the flat back comes forward. Ah, breathe in, and as you breathe out, release the head, allow it to hang down. And slowly, slowly push up. Use the hands on the thighs. Come up ever so slowly. And then we interlace our fingers and push the palms down, lifting our chest up through, opening our hearts to greet this wonderful day. Then we push the hands away and round the back as we lean down. And then we push the hands all the way up and bring them a little to one side. Good job. Back to center, please, and a little to the other side. Beautiful work. Back to center, please, and slowly float the hands down. Just bring one knee in, stretch it out a little bit, bring it back in, and go to the other side. Pull the knee in a little bit, stretch it out a little bit, back to center. Good work. And now we're just gonna go into rotation, nice and easy. A little to one side and a little to the other. Our shoulders are back and down. And we're gonna turn and look. We're gonna come back to center, turn and look. Come back to center, turn and look. Great job, come back to center. And now, we wanna thank you very much for joining us. Let's do a great big breath in, gathering goodness, blessings, and miracles. Fill your heart right up. Shake out your cares and worries. Gather newness of hope from the earth and fill your heart right up. Uh-oh, you've got too much goodness. Take that extra goodness. Share it with the world knowing that all will be well. Great job. We'll see you soon. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.